The most common lithium ion battery used in electric vehicles is NCM, which uses nickel, cobalt, and magnesium, uh, which is pretty harmful for the environment and hard to mine and rare on Earth. Um, LFP, which Mullen wants to use, is far better, lasts longer, and this will allow us to incorporate that into our battery design and again help the environment in ways that other electric vehicle companies aren't doing. So the car development is a gigantic team effort. It's not just one person, it's not just one department, it's not just the battery. We have to consider, for example, the size of our wheels. Because if you go an inch wider with your wheel, you lose approximately 10 miles of range just because of the additional resistance that these wheels have while driving. Okay. Also the rubber material that we use for our wheels, the softer it is, the easier it is to drive around, drive through curves and everything, but the higher is the resistance because it's basically almost glued to the road. So we have to find the right compromise between safe driving and low resistance to actually get more miles out of the car or to have the battery live longer. So all that stuff is in my responsibility. So I'm working with battery people, I'm working with the thermal people, I'm working with all these guys to make sure that the heart of the car, the battery, feels good. Mullen is uh, working towards uh, making what I, I guess you could say are the, like, a lot of theoretical dreams into a very practical reality. So there's many different systems that people have been proposing and wanting to work on that Mullen is going to really going to laser focus it on. Make, make it something that's practical and be able to be used in vehicles. These sorts of systems will have uh, advantages over, say, what the traditional chemistries are by helping to increase the energy density of the system and significantly lower the costs of the system too. So we're proud to say that we have a facility where we can produce and, and manufacture and assemble. So that's pretty you know, exciting for us. And then we're going into an area uh, in the United States, which is we call the automotive corridor, which, so it's good for us, but it's more important, you know, for the people in, in Mississippi. You know, it, Mississippi has been for a very long time a very deprived economy, and anything anybody could do to to bring jobs to the region, I think, is a good thing. And uh, you know, we did that. We announced we were going to go to Tunica when we bought the property about uh, eight months ago, I believe, and then I, it was gratifying to hear that uh, Ford Motor company is going uh, into Mississippi building the biggest automobile factory ever you know so it kind of it shows that it, you know we're on the right path and, and we believe that we're doing the right thing and a big company like Ford's also doing the same thing so we'll put our little bit of two cents into it and employ some people and get them working and try to get that economy going but more importantly get the whole US economy going and it starts with putting the first guy back to work and that's what we're going to do for me it, it's it's more about uh, delivering a, a great product right one and more importantly than delivering a great product i wanted to put americans back to work and then i wanted to have uh, pride and, and integrity in building something our suv which is called Mullen 5 we're proud to say that we you know we designed that car here we built it here and we're gonna sell it here.